alongside the coach, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, uh, pulled out the sheet from the Preble game over at South a couple weeks ago, and Griffin Summers had uh, 30 points, and uh, Ryan Buss, their high score at 17, was an overtime game. Uh, I would think North would do a little better than that, even though South did win the game in the end. Yeah, they did, and uh, these teams just played the other day because of uh, the uh, snow, too. Uh, snow uh, out earlier in the year, and North came away with a big victory and things like that. But as we saw in that overtime game, you know, even though Preble's in last place, they got some kids that can shoot, and if they're going to make their shots, they're going to hang in there. And Ryan busts is a load, and somebody's going to have to stop him down low, keep him out of the paint, keep him out of rebound. He's one of the highest rebounders in the league. So, yes, Preble's in, in last place, but you got to play the game. My estimation is North is struggling a little bit this year. They're uh, five and six in conference. They are eight and six overall, so that's you know a little better. But it's not the kind of North, you know, wins and losses that you'd like to see, or at least that we're used to seeing. What do you think? Well, I just think you know they've been in a lot of games, Marty. They they had the game one the other day against the Pier, 13 point lead against the Pier with six minutes left in your home park, and you and they blew the lead and lost the game. They had led Pulaski right here, uh, you know, a, a ranked team in Division Two. They had them beat and lost it down the stretch. You played with Bayport in your house here, so this is a team that's capable of winning basketball games and you know things. They just they just need to finish and uh, you know complete games and things like that. And right now, that's something that you know, uh, talking to some of the people, they're saying that the most frustrating game ever they you know, coaches was like Tuesday night. So they got to forget about that and play because. They played Monday night, they played Tuesday, and tomorrow they got to go down to uh, Mequon and play 10th ranked Oak Creek. So, a lot of basketball this week for the boys. Yeah, a lot of basketball for sure. And of course, we don't want them to look past tonight or, or tomorrow night's game for that matter. We want them to win both. But uh, you got the North South game uh, looming next uh, Saturday. Yeah, you got that game, you got Mantuak South, and then they finish with four road games too. So, season's coming to a close, but. Their home games are coming to an end, and you want to get better as the tournament comes along. And, you know, Zach Hosenstein's been around the, the block a little bit. He knows how this goes. Ethan Sinalis. They got to, you know, take care of business. I think, you know, have a really sound game tonight. You know, they had one on Monday. You got to forget about that. But you got to, you know, take care of business today and try to finish off the season very strong. One thing that would help, I would think, would be if they could establish a, an inside game a little bit more. Uh, they don't have any real tall, uh, physical kind of guys, and uh, that hurts them, I think, over the course of the season for sure. Well, you know, I think uh, Ben Lorgie has been a big surprise underneath. He's helped a little bit down there. He's kind of contributed to use a little muscle and things like that, and you're going to need it against this Ryan Buss kid. That's for sure, but I think you're right. It was trying to find somebody that's going to be playing in the, down in the paint, and you know, because they're not very tall, you know, you got to bust your tail and box out and do the little things to get rebounds. Of course, it puts more pressure and on the guards and things. I, I always think that's one of the things that North does is they play really, really good defense. And if you can do it on the perimeter, then you can maybe, you know, take away some of that lack of height. One thing that's really helped North this year is uh, Ben the Witter kid. Uh, he's really come on. I, I saw in the, when I was doing my research, he leads the team by a little bit in scoring right, uh, right ahead of. Uh, Zach Cosenstein, but uh, to get those kind of contributions from a kid that young, you know, that's impressive. Yeah, Brent Witter's leading the league in uh, uh, three-pointers, and Camden Wall, the coach's son, he's second in the league in threes, so we're going to have two good three-pointers, but yeah, Brent, I've talked about him a lot. He's a baseball player for me. He's a, he's a really good kid, but he's a workaholic. He's a gym rat. He's here at 6.30 in the morning shooting, things like that, and, you know, the experience that he's, you know, gaining this year as, as a young young player he's going to have to take on for the next couple of years his leadership i think you should be with him in the other gym let the batting cage on you could feed the balls into the pitching machine and let him hit well he's a he's a really good hitter he works other times too but we're not going to talk to ba basketball coaches about that <laughs> all right with the, <laughs> we don't want to get you in trouble right no. but you can still do announcing <laughs> With that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the tip off for tonight's game. Spot. You know my motto safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. 
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.com. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal, an exception for all in attendance at tonight's game. Remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. To honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask you, if you're able to, please stand, remove your headwear, and place your hand over your heart for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's game featuring the Green Bay Preble Hornets and your Shabuggin North High running Raiders. Starting lineup for Green Bay Preble, number 13, Camden Wall. Number 31, Matthew Carwitty. Number 43, Brian Buckmeyer. Number 35, Quinn Watermolen. Number 55, Ryan Buss. Preble is head coach by Mr. Jim Wall. Now the starting lineup for your running Raiders. Number three, Nate Winter. Number 11, Ethan Sinellis. Number 23, Zach Hasenstein. Number 25, David 
Sun and Tag. Number 35, Quinton Baldwin. Raiders are head coached by Mr. Eric Worth. Tonight's WIAA officials are Mr. Lawrence Dietz, Doug Johnson, and Logan Kenyon. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and are assigned by North High School and the Fox River Classic Conference. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Tonight's athletic training services are provided by Prevea Sports Medicine of Green Bay in partnership with St. Nicholas, St. Mary's, and St. Vincent Hospitals. Tonight's athletic trainer is Chris Lenz. Prevea Sports Medicine, expert care for active people. Tip-off of uh, Preble Controls, Arrow Point Norseway the next time there's a tie-up. Chris, a little different starting yep. lineup than we've seen from North uh, earlier in the year. Well, I think they're going with seniors, Marty, and uh, Coach Tessitel never did that. I, you know, I like to start my seniors, too. Uh, I don't know if I do it either, but given Quinton and Nate a start here, uh, instead of Jackson and uh, Witter, Br uh, Brent there. So uh, nice gesture by Coach Worth on senior night. I, I'll be real honest, I, I was never a fan of that. Let's start your starters. Yep, but uh, it's a nice honor. I always have all my seniors be captains the last day. They'll come out by the, the umpires and stuff. Quentin Bodine had a nice night again the other night, number 35. He's come a long way, too, along with Ben Morgi. Another guy that's been playing a lot more than he did earlier during the uh, season has been uh, Nate Winter. Well, I like Nate was Winter. In, yeah, he was in double figures uh, a couple of games ago. I saw that in the paper. It wasn't, wasn't really that long ago. North seems like they've been playing a lot of games recently. Uh, one of those we mentioned was the... Uh, a three ball right there by uh, Ryan Buss. That's a strange thing getting Buss shooting a three. Oh, he has 17 on the year. I guess that's his 18th. Right, yes. I just thought he'd do more of his work underneath. Sontag with a jump hook in the lane. Couldn't get it to go. Another three ball by Hasenstein. He can't get it to go. And it goes off of a Preble player, Bookmeyer. Hey, it's Doug Johnson. I didn't notice that. Yeah, Doug Johnson uh, going to be handing the ball to the North uh, player, Snellis, at the baseline. He's a Sheboygan guy. Doug Johnson, an uh, excellent ref. Missed some umpiring, too. Yep. He's done with that. I talked to him a little bit before uh, during the JV game. Wow. I don't blame him with the weather and everything. Seymour in the ball game, along with uh, also coming in is uh, Sokolowski. In action earlier today, uh, Pothast hit a three ball with two seconds left. Yep, Pottest, yep. Pottest to yep. Uh, win the game in the JV action. And, uh, Sawyer Pottest made a three with Preble, two seconds left. Yeah, Preble won the uh, Freshman game by about six. Jump shot is up and in by Buckmeyer. He's just a sophomore, wide open. Quentin Bodine with a three. Bodine with a three, do we like that? North was having a little trouble making baskets until then. This Monday night, 81 59 North. Lorgi and Witter coming in. It's tough when you got to play teams so close together. I shouldn't say tough. It's something you're not used to. Third game of the week for both teams. And as we mentioned before, North having to play tomorrow against Oak Creek, who's got a real nice squad. Wall got into the lane, but uh, shuffled the feed once he got there. It's at least two turnovers by uh, the Hornets. 15-29 left in the first half. It's 5-3, Preble. 
Both teams playing a man-to-man. -man. Witter trying to step through and he gets called for the walk. Preble comes in three and 12, one and 10 in conference. North is eight and six, five and six in conference. And oh. a good defense by North. Hosenstein leaning, couldn't get the call. He's gonna get one there. Should be shooting two. They're gonna say not during the shot. It's gonna be out of bounds, North. Winter back in the game for uh, Sinellis. Wall fighting through the screen to uh, pick Witter up before he could get his three ball attempt. Kadoin. Wow. Chris throws his pencil down, nothing but turnovers to Mark. We want baskets. Rainitz in. Tommy Rainitz, number four, there you see him. He's a senior too, on a Madison next year. Studying kinesiology, Marty. Ugh. I studied kinesiology, but only for a semester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one class, that was enough. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's a walk not called. There we go. The crew tonight, we have Scott Mailoff as our director, Eric Wiesman, assistant director, Sergi Molitor running graphics, Richard Bartson running camera one, and Greg Zablocki running two. Chris Wright is just running. <laughs> <laughs> I did that already today. And I'm just talking. Rainitz had it taken away by Bookmeyer. Another turnover by North. Well, we played three and a half minutes and we have eight turnovers. Wall from outside the line. Rainbow three by the left-hander, wow. He was deep. I didn't think he could get there, but it went right through. I don't think he thought he could get it there. It's his uh, 36th three in conference play. Nice drive by Winter, but not able to finish. 14 minutes left in the first half. Ryan Buss with the rebound, fourth in the league in rebounding is Buss, number 55. Here's Buss. In the lane, he missed a chip shot. Hosenstein's gonna get the over the back foul. Buss also fourth in the league in scoring it. On the season, he's 19-9, but uh, fourth in the league in scoring. Wall is 14th in the league in scoring. I have Ryan run 63% from the free throw line, Marty. That's and not that great, but he made that first one. I think that's important, you know, if you're like a marginal free throw shooter, but you make that first one, that can set the tone for the rest of the night, actually. Nice crowd tonight, Marty. Yeah, very nice. A lot nice. of locals and went out for their fish and now here. <laughs> out to Miller's Glen. 10 to 3, Preble. Good start for them. North Very is, good start. Yeah, North has been uh, scuffling to get shots. Yeah, they've. I have them uh, one for six. And those four turnovers. And uh, turnover bugaboo has been a problem for North at times this year. Not a lot of scores on the floor, Chris. Yep, there's a walk. Well, it's been a rotating uh, substitution pattern for Coach Worst so far. And getting a lot of guys in early. We've got uh, 10 different players have touched the floor. And I think almost half of them have got a turnover. Good inside defense by Sinellis, keeping Bookmeyer from getting in position to get it. 
Three ball is up and in. That one by Carwarden. Interesting. Preble hasn't subbed at all, Marty. There was maybe another walk. There he's. Winter couldn't get it. Good hustle by Winter. Got Winter. it. Yeah. Sinalis from outside the line, no good. And Buss with the strong rebound. I'm sure Preble uh, playing a lot better than they have in that last game. It's going to be an offensive foul. Is that on Bus? Yep. Wow. Bus picks up his first. Sokolowski comes back in. North trying to get something open, and uh, Preble has really been playing good defense. Winter. Fouled on the drive. Ball's gonna go on Watermolen. Here's our first substitute for Preble at the 11.57 mark. The other day they, oh, we're gonna time out. Parrott uh, came in for Preble, that was it. Not a TV timeout. It's a full timeout, Scott, with 11.57 left. Preble on top, 13 to 3. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety. Back at, uh, back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse on senior night. Uh, as we look through the sheet with all the seniors on it, Chris, they've uh, all played already. Uh, but uh, not a good start for the Northsiders. They just need to get some baskets. Yeah, they struggling around the floor. Also have five turnovers. Bus comes in uh, leading scorer in tonight's game. He averages 19.9. Uh, Witter and Hosenstein both average a touch over uh, 15. And then uh, you mentioned Wall averages 14.1. Bedoin right down Main Street and scores. That's the only guy I let score and shoot because he's scoring. He's got all five. Like the way he used the glass too. And he attacked. He wasn't afraid not to attack. Witter fighting through. Bus rolled off. Sokolowski with the rebound. Winter had it tapped away. Good steal by Prebles. Get the name of that kid. Water mulling on the steal, Chris, but uh, missed on the layup. Ball's going on north, Sokolowski. Eisenstein back in. Those are the plays you gotta finish as a varsity player. Yeah, have to make layups, especially on the road against a good North home team. In the lane, shot is good by Wall. Well, Preble uh, doing a good job here so far. Seymour back in the ball game, gets it into uh, Hosenstein. He's bumped on his way to the basket. Well, we said it from day one. When we saw North play, Zach Hosenstein's going to be a tough matchup for anybody in this league. I like to see that more than when he drives a little bit than when he, uh, nice shot. Sokolowski on that basket. I like when uh, Hosey drives to the basket, Marty. 
Witter is uh, guarding Wall. That's an interesting matchup. Well, Brent's a smart guy. He knows how to play good D without his hands. Sokolowski's got his hands full guarding uh, Bus. Bus open from three ball land, couldn't get it. Hosenstein on the long rebound, and it's kicked out of bounds by Preble. I remember this kid, Chris. Yep. Lucas Dalkey. Big guy, you're not going to move him off his spot. I dare you to try, Marty. I ain't going to try. Oh, nice feed inside, but Witter misses the bunny shot. Oh, boy. Wall with the, had it stolen away by Witter. I think Witter got away with the walk, too. Sokolowski fakes the pass out and puts it up and in. Nice move by Steve. Two straight baskets for him. Cut the deficit to six. Just under ten minutes. Witter continuing to guard uh, Camden Wall. Ball tipped away, but Preble comes up with it. Dalkey. Wall spins. And couldn't get it. Two North players on the rebound. Not a good shot by Wall. Seymour with a good pass inside, and uh, Sokolowski gets fouled. Use his height a little bit. That's the fifth team foul on Preble. North has three team fouls. Witter comes off. Jackson Damcott coming in. Jackson jump shot in the lane. Got it. Rolled it in. 15 to 11. North uh, coming back. Damcott uh, drawing wall now. Look at where the North defense is pushing Preble yeah. farther and farther away from the paint. Hosenstein on the step out defense. Ball's going to go on Sokolowski, I believe. It'll be a two shot foul. You know who we haven't seen yet tonight, Chris? Has been Griffin Summers. He was the high scorer at South at 30 points. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he's hurt or something. We'll have to talk to the Preble people. He's a really good pitcher, too, Marty. Maybe he hurt his arm. <laughs> A little bit flat on that second free throw attempt by uh, Bus, but he got it in. 16 to 11, 8.47 left in the first half. Lorgie back in for uh, the Raiders. Inside feed. Whiz. Defense forgot all about him. That's why they're in last. Just a little down screen and uh, nobody guarded the screener. That's another reason they can't handle this pressure. Hazi had the basket before he had the ball. That was the problem there. Great anticipation. Jackson Damcott picking up that foul. Wall pretty good. Chris uh, on his ball handling. I try to get him the ball because the rest of them don't look very comfortable at all. Nicholas Dalkey goes off, gave uh, some good minutes there for uh, resting Bookmeyer. Good talking on defense by the Raiders. Good ball movement. Bus got away. No, he didn't get away with the walk. Did the Euro step? Can't do that in high school. 
seventh turnover on Preble. North with an opportunity to uh, tie or draw within one on a two-point basket. Seymour. Pushed off. <laughs> oh, my. And he kisses it off the glass for two. Uh, oh, and another And steal. a steal by North. Hasenstein scores, and he's fouled. That's why Preble is in last. They cannot handle a press. I didn't mention that on my keys to win, but uh, one thing I did mention was get back on defense because North likes to run, but you're right, they're not uh, not handling the press. See if Hazi can finish off the three-point play. He does. 18 to 16, North on top. This is what Preble should do all the time, just get it to wall and clear it out. Let him get it across. Damcott working Half hard court. on the defense. Wall a lefty, and good hustle defense. Diving in there was Lorgi. Oh, That's no. That's not a good call. I didn't think so either. Wall one, oh, never mind. That's just a hustle play. Yep, that's what it is, and I didn't think he took them out. I mean, they just both went down going for the ball. That's all it was. Of course, we're 50 feet away. Look at this. Out of bounds. Now, since it wasn't touched, it should come back to midcourt. No, or so. no. Underneath because it's their basket. I have the officials calling for the ball down here. You can't see me, it's just outside your uh, screen. Oh, Marty. Hey. Told ya. You're right. Of course I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're on the wrong side of half court. It should be on the other side, but you get the idea. North with the lead and the ball. Seymour. Damcott, kick out to Hasenstein. He's open for a three ball and he nails it. 21 to 16. Presses on and Preble loses it out of bounds. Not able to handle that pass. Was Matthew Carwardine. Son and Tag in the game for the Raiders. Seymour, bango, baby. Another three, and Preble's going to call another timeout. Well, I don't understand why they called the first one. <laughs> they were winning. Yeah, it was 13-3 to three at the time, and uh, called a timeout when they made that first substitution, Chris. It's another full timeout, too. Uh, we'll just keep it here, Scott, now that we're uh, into talking. Uh, it's been quite a run by the Raiders. It has, and they can't handle the precedence. Basically, since that timeout on the, you know, at the 11:57 mark, I did not understand the point of that timeout, and all got started on a couple uh, steals and yeah, three-point play by Hasenstein and a three-pointer by Hasenstein, and then Seymour Knox with three in, and uh, I got a 19 to two run. Yep, going here by the by North. They had the last two baskets have been three pointers, and then we had the three point play by Hazi. That's uh, the last three baskets of the uh, of this run. The only actually it's a 19 to one run because uh, Bus only made one out of two free throws. 19 to one run. Turn this game around. Parrot back in the game. Now that was a little better job of breaking the press. They were up 13 to five. 13 to five. 13 to three. Mm -hmm. 
Osenstein guarding Wall. It must have been a switch out on the floor somewhere. Bus is double teamed in the corner. Snell is a little late trying to pick it off. And getting open inside was a water molen. Well, Seymour gambled to try to, to chase the rabbit, and he didn't get there, so that's why that was an easy uh, basket there for Preble. Damcott with the good hustle on the uh, rebound attempt to tie up. North will keep it. Ozenstein had it inside but lost it. Preble's going to get it back. Winter Witter and Bedoin in the ball game for the Raiders. Now, well, you had some scoring punch out there beforehand, but uh, different look by the Raiders right now, Chris, than they had before. Carwardine has it in the backcourt, bringing it up against Witter. And a steal. And I wonder, okay, not an intentional fall, even though he grabbed him, tried to keep him from falling down, I think. Go, just go shoot free throws. That was the right thing to do. Tried to protect you. Eisenstein uh, had a one-for-one -one trip on that three-point play earlier. Two-for-two two from the line. And another one. Ozzy with eight points in the half. Nobody for North was down on the other end. Oh boy. Oh, that's why they're in last place too, Chris. Finally, getting the basket for a Preble was Watermolen. Drive to the hoop and Hasenstein scores again. Well, North started one for six, Marty. They're now 10 for 20, 50%. Pedoin with a steal. And North gets it back. Witter traveled, however. Twenty-eight to twenty with uh, four fifty-two left in the first half. Preble almost averaging a turnover a minute. They have really struggled with uh, the press. I can only recall one time when I thought they did a pretty good job of breaking it. Other than clearing out for wall, right? Which right. you mentioned before. Bookmeyer on a kickout pass. Three ball is uh, no good. Hasenstein with the rebound. And uh, ticky tack on that. Ball goes on Watermolen. We've got him for two fouls. Hasenstein right back to the line. That was the ninth foul on Preble, so it's a one and one. Didn't seem to bother Zach on that free throw attempt, Chris. 11 points and a half, having a good half. Yeah. North went from being down 12 to now being up 10. And it was fast. Yes, it was fast. You're right. It's like the old days. Uh, that could almost been an offensive foul. Uh, Hazi might be going to the bench, Chris, for the rest of the half. That's his second. And it's the seventh team foul on the Raiders. 
Watermolen will go to the line to shoot a one and one. He's got four points. Bus leads uh, the Hornets with six. Wall has five. Ooh, that was flat. Seymour back in the game. Bedoin puts a shoulder down, drives to the basket and scores. That was impressive. It's twice he's done that tonight. Season opening goes. Not hesitant. Like the aggressive play. Watch this. Watch him lower his shoulder. Left shoulder. Go down. Lean in. Trust me, he made the basket. <laughs> That's why he's at the line shooting one. I hate to say it, Chris, but I'm going to. North is perfect from the line so far in the half. They've made uh, six out of six free throws. Coming in for uh, Preble is a guy we don't have a number. Oh, Marcus May. Yeah, they're not in order, Marty. Right. And a five-second count. Preble again struggling with the press by the Raiders. Seymour, pump fake, he gets fouled, he'll be shooting too. Nice move by Brian. Seymour has five points, looking for number six. A good half. Oof. 34 to 20. Jeez. Wall is going to get an offensive foul. Pushing off. It was an easy call, actually. For uh, Camden Wall, that's his uh, first personal. Well, they got two touchdowns worth of turnovers. Wow. It's uh, four minutes left in the half. North up by 14. They've really turned this game around. Well, you kind of figured it'd be like this way when it started, Marty. I mean, before it started, but when it started, like, well, maybe Preble came to play today, but... Uh, their, wow. Their <laughs> inability to play good basketball uh, shine through in, in you know, yeah. later in the half. Wow, and they're just... You know, we said it before we saw them play south. We didn't think they were really good shooters either. Their form and stuff mm -hmm. wasn't the best. And uh, That was a 10th team fall by Preble also. So uh, with 3.48 <laughs> left, they're going to be shooting two free throws each time they go to the line. Thirty-five to twenty. Wall has it being guarded by Winter. They pushed off Another again. push off right. May fake. Good pass. Bus missing the bunny. Seymour is gonna get called for the foul. But uh, good play there, Chris. Good teamwork. Gotta make that easy shot though. They've missed a few of those. I have Preble at 37%. Well, Watermolen didn't look very good on his free throw last time, and it's uh, very flat there, too. I'm sorry, Chris, what were you saying? I was just saying that they are shooting 37%, but they had that fast start. Right. They haven't made uh, many baskets. No, you're right. And <laughs> I mean, they're getting little bunny shots, too. They're not making those. That's hard to win like that. Oh, jeez. Witter directing traffic. There's three seniors on the team. One of them is Bus that basically plays. The rest are all underclassmen. Griffin Summers, the other one, we haven't seen him tonight. No, I wonder what's up. We'll have to figure that out at halftime. But uh, Sinalis open from three ball land, and he nails one. Here's one out of your playbook, Chris. Another country heard from. Yep. 38 to 20. 
Seven different Raiders have scored, Marty. North turning up the pressure, extending the defense out, continuing to press. Good hustle, good drop down defense to help out by Witter. Yeah, Q fell down, which made it uh, easier for Preble there, but the good hustle by Witter knocked it away. As Rick Horzen leaving already, it's not even halftime. <laughs> Bus has it being guarded by Damcott. Three ball is uh, no good. A good rebound by Watermolen, however. And uh, whistle, I think it's going to be on Witter. A winter, pardon me. Well, there's something they can fix, North, that is, at uh, halftime, is the offensive rebounding for Preble. Well, they picked a good guy to follow, Chris Watermull, and yeah. hasn't come close to making one. Yeah. Hey, you can have another one since you made that one, young man. Quinn Watermull. There's a good shot of Quinn. Boy, that was straight through. Not much arch on either of those free throws, but he got them both in. Two twenty left. Winter, uh, pardon me, Witter on a nice pass from Damcott. Scores on a left-handed layup. Watch this. He cuts hard to the basket and has it in. Way to use the left hand. Used the screen well. Came hard off the curl there. I got a job for that young man. He can come to my camp and teach in the left-handed layup school we run during the summertime. That's a joke, by the way, fans. Brent not able to put the free throw in, however. 40 to 22, 219 left. Oh, oh boy. I don't think Nate even touched him. He just slipped on his own. Wrong place at the wrong time. Camden Wall will be on the line shooting a pair. It's 10 team fouls on North. I'd like to have seen that replay, but. Yeah. They get a good shot at Camden. His dad is the coach, Jim Wall. His grandpa was the coach. Yeah, too. Uh, See Jim Wall also? Yeah. We haven't seen him. We would see him in the gyms, you know, periodically here and there. He'd come to Sheboygan, but uh, we haven't seen him in a few years. Hopefully his health is okay. He was a good one. Oh. Long time coach oh. at uh, Preble. Had some great players too. Jesse Steinfeld comes to mind. 30-second timeout for Norris. We'll keep it here. Hard to believe it's 40-24, to 24, Marty, the way this started. It was, I had it here, 13-3, to 15-5. to 5. Actually, yeah, 15-5. to 5. And so if you take it from that point forward, Preble has scored 9. North has scored 35. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. Well, Preble's three, three and twelve. Oh, here's three. that curl cut. And nice. the left-handed layup. Oh, that nice. was sweet. Preble beat Southwest in league play. They've also beat Eldoma and Florida Christian. They went to Florida and took on a team and got a win. Split hey, down there. You guys going to Florida again? Nope. Not this year. Maybe next year. We'll see. Largy trying to get it inside. Gets it out to a Damcott whose three ball is no good. Witter comes away with the rebound. Slides inside, but uh, really didn't have a good base to uh, shoot that ball. Came up a little short even though he was underneath the basket. Minute 25 left.
Damcott working hard on defense, but uh, not a good foul there. Watermolen back to the line. Damcott goes out with two fouls. Roll that one in. 40-25. Oh, stolen away from Boudoin. Carwardine scores. And they're going to get uh, Camden Wall with his forearm on the back of Witter. That'll that, draw a foul every that'll time. That'll be a third foul on him, too. Oops. North has shot a lot of free throws in this first half, Chris. Another indication that uh, Preble does not play very good defense. Witter got the uh, shooter's roll on that second free throw. Under a minute. Bus not even looking to the basket, Chris. Good inside feed. Kiss off the glass is good by Watermolen. North looking to go for one. 20 seconds left. It's 42 29. Great second half of the first half, Marty. Yeah, you're right. Good point. Kick out, Lorgi, rainbow three is no good. Bedoin on a putback, scores at the buzzer. And we're at halftime here at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with the Raiders on top, 44 to 29. the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you.
me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers. Got a quarter? Yeah, I'll take it. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner okay. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Getting ready to uh, wrap up halftime, some halftime scoring. Forced first for uh, Preble. Camden Wall has seven points. Matthew Carwardian has five. Quinn Watermolen has nine. Ryan Bookmeyer, Brian Bookmeyer has two. And Ryan Buss has six. For North, Brian Seymour was six. Ethan Snellis had a three late in the first half. Jackson Damcott with two. Brent Witter has four. Steve Sokolowski has four. Ben Lorgi with uh, two. And then uh, Quinton Budine had double figures in that first half. Played a very good half of basketball. Had 11. And leading all scores, scores in the first half was Zach Hosenstein. He had 12. Uh, Big run for uh, North. They were down 10 and are presently up 15. So it was a big run for them to end the first half. Chris has some numbers for us. Yeah, 53% shooting for North, 40% uh, for Preble. But the big thing for Preble, 14 turnovers. Uh, I found a lot of, while I was gone, I did do some research. Chris is still catching his breath. Yeah, I was running back. Uh, Coach 
Wall is here. He's over there in the red shirt. Oh, okay, yeah, there he is. And uh, so he's here. And Griffin Summers down in Florida playing the basketball tournament broke his foot. Oh. So he's out for the basketball season. Should be back for the baseball season, too, so that's okay. a good thing. Wall with a deep three. Couldn't get it. A short two is good by Wall. Oh. And they are going to have a senior presentation at the end of the night, Marty. Okay, so we probably will not have uh, any interviews following tonight's game, so don't look for that. Eight Raiders have scored tonight, Marty. Right, right, you're right. I was going to mention that, but you wouldn't let me talk after you got up here to the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was actually going to say it was a pretty good run. Lorgy got away with a slap there. But I was going to say, actually, Preble came back a little bit in the end of the first half. South beat Notre Dame today. Notre, Dame, Notre Dame's got a nice little team going there. South is uh, up, was up eight at halftime. Yeah, right? Notre Dame's like fourth in the league. We heard that uh, Logan Hamilton is out for the year with a broken foot. Is yep. that right? Stepped on an official's leg. So we won't see him on Saturday. That's uh, it's hard really to believe. Didn't we just have the North-South game? Like yeah. Well, and the other thing I was thinking about more was with Logan, you know, being his senior year and ending it, you know, on uh, being hurt, that's really tough. Yep. Wall shot is no good. Good rebound by Hosenstein and a lead feed to Lorgi who puts it up and in. What a pass. Oh, man. You know, we talk enough about him and his scoring, but uh, when you can handle the ball like that, make good passes. Yeah, that was a good call. Keep your hands off of him, Zach. Third, Third foul for him, too. Yeah, he had a nice first half with 12, four rebounds. Yeah, had 12 points, let all points. scores. Bus kissing it off the glass, couldn't get it to go. He's had a tough night tonight. Yes, he has. He's just one of seven. And Tommy Rainitz. Make it nine. Right down Main Street. Nine Raiders on the board. 50 to 31, largest lead of the night for the Raiders, 19 points. Wall trying to get it in. Just stayed in bounds. Bus gets called for the offensive foul. We couldn't see what happened. I think he moved the uh, Raider play. defender away to get the ball, uh, yes. maybe? Okay. Doug Johnson made that call, was in great position to see it. Witter. Twitter shot was no good, but tapped out of bounds by Preble. He's one that hasn't had a good night. Just one of five shooting. Four points for Brent. A whole second half yet, though. And he's more worried about W's and stats. I'll tell you that right now. Seymour, hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Wall throws it away. Good play by Lorgi, and he kicks it up. Witter will get two here. North turning up the heat. Twenty-one point lead by the Raiders. North's next game is tomorrow. Chris mentioned that in the opening. That should be an intentional foul, but they're not going to call it. That's twice he's done that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I thought the first time he was actually holding Hazi from crashing to the floor. I'll give him a little bit of a break there, but uh, not this time. Anyway, tomorrow night, North plays uh, Oak Creek, state ranked team. That'll be a tough one on the road. One for two trip for uh, Sinellis.
North was 10 for 13 in the first half with their free throw shooting. Bus up above the crowd, couldn't get it in. Another, uh, what should have been an easy shot, wouldn't go in. Rainitz couldn't get it to go. Sinalis outside the line, no good. Bus with the strong rebound. And Witter saves it. <laughs> well, kind of saved it. Bookmeyer. Bus. Where is he going to put that Bus one? trying to negotiate the corner of the backboard. Couldn't get it in. <laughs> he uh, was out of angles, Marty. And I'm not a math guy, but... I don't think the chances of that ball going in were very good. No, they weren't. Comes David Sonntag. He too is going to go to Madison and hopes to be a doctor. Well, all these smart guys. No. In the first half, North was 10 for 13 on their free throw shooting. Uh, Preble was 8 for 13. So free throw shooting pretty good. I don't like those smart guys on your team, Chris. Damcott shot is no good. Good hustle. Saved it. it. Went off of a Preble player. Nope, they're calling it off in north. Preble will get it. Good hustle by the Raiders, however. 13.25 left. Our next game, WSCS TV Sports, will be next Saturday when South travels to the dark side to play North. You know what Desso had to say about going down to South, don't you? Darth Vader doesn't cross the 8th Street Bridge very often. Ball tipped away by Winter. He hustles down and gets it. Shot off the glass is in. Great hustle by Nate. Ten Raiders now scored. And it's officially a runaway. 55-31, 24 point North lead. And they did trail by 10 at two different points, 13 to three and 15 to five. Oh, score of the basket. Watermolen. But it's always no. been an adventure. Bus. Bus got that one. Oh, you're right. It was Bus. I thought he traveled, actually. Again, very flat on the free throw attempt. It didn't go in. Bedoin to the hoop and scores. Perfect night. I'll tell you what, people get out of his way. Five for five. He's having a nice night. 13 points, leads all scores. Ozzy didn't have any baskets uh, early on. Finally, the guy who kind of got things started comes back in the game. Sokolowski. Yeah, didn't he have, he had those points. Right, two, yeah. two baskets in a row. When they're down 15 to five, he hasn't been on the floor since. He, he was on the floor later in the first half, yeah. Okay. Just uh, didn't make the uh, contributions that he had earlier. Bus with a basket inside. Nice move there. Witter on a little give and Woo! go to Sokolowski for two. That was sweet. Another guy with a perfect night, three for three. Nice pass. <laughs> Chris scoffing at that water molen basket, but it went in. Yep. Winter throwing that arm out to keep protect the ball. Bedoin ah! missed it. <laughs> Dang Chris, it. Chris wanted him to have a perfect night. You know, if he could shoot a left-handed layup, he'd have made it. That was that was made for the left hand. Twenty-fifth 
high school reunion. You remember that night, senior night? I was perfect on the floor. Till I had to make a left. No, he was going to say I was perfect on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> At the five year, he'll be he missed a layup on senior. By 25th, I had a perfect night. Yeah. Marcus May in the ball game, number five. You know, and Quinton did not play basketball and uh, came out. It's nice to see. Ben Lorgi came back out to play. Yeah, we mentioned that early on when we had that game. There were uh, at least three or four kids. Uh, Sinellis with a good rebound off a missed three ball by a wall. Sokolowski going hard to the basket, pulls up from five and scores. He has his perfect night yet. Four for four. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Largest lead of the night now with 26. Pretty soon time to take the dogs off, Marty. You don't need to press up 26. Buses shot rattles out. Sokolowski has eight. Chris has been mentioned about his perfect night. Kick out Watermolen. That looked like one of his free throws. Winter couldn't get it. Bus on the pressure. And then Bedoin knocks it out of bounds. Give the fan the assist on the pass to Johnson. Well, I was going to give him that turnover. Darn it. It's been a tough night for uh, the Hornets. That was the right call, though. Right. Quinn Watermolen having a pretty good night. He's got 11. Emden Wall gets fouled on the shot attempt. That's going to go on Sinellis. For Ethan, that's his first foul of the night. Wall at the line for the second time tonight. He was two for two in the first half before he missed that one there. Ryan Seymour checking back in. Seniors seem to be getting a lot of time tonight, Chris, on senior night. Sixty-three to thirty-eight, ten twenty left in the ball game. Bedoin kick out pass to Sokolowski and North uh, run a little bit of a weave. And not a good foul there. For Watermole, and that was his third. North has uh, five team fouls. Preble has four. Seymour slips by the first defender, gets in the lane, and scores. That's one thing you got to like about Seymour. Chris being a senior coming off the bench and he's uh he's, he's the scorer. Yeah, he's, and he's he had usually a nice north south game, that's for sure. Right. Well, fouls on the floor. It's going to go on uh, Brian Seymour. I remember way back in 8th grade, I was in 7th grade. Uh our team, I started, but we had a kid that came off the bench, Tommy Martin, no relation. And it seemed like every time he came in the game, he scored a basket or two. Another tough shot for a bus that wouldn't go in. But I'll tell you, that's a real pick-me-up, especially if you're in a close game. Getting points off the bench. Oh, yeah. Wall to the hoop, short-armed it. Whoa, stolen away. Oh, nice shot over two defenders by Cam Wall. 
Well, you wonder why Butts and Wall have stats the way they do. They stay in the game. They're get there and last, but they're out there too, building up stats. Bedoin had a good look, couldn't get it in, and then uh, Watermolen's going to pick up the foul. Nets his fourth. McGoldrick in the ball game for the first time for North. Hey, we got to get also in uh, Michael Rain. It's number 31. We got to get Sonatag in there to score yet. You want me to go tell, tell yeah, Coach Worth well, uh, he hasn't scored? Tell David when he gets in the game to try and shoot. Bedoin. Good quickness on that drive. Wow, 15 wee. points for oh. Q. Yeah. Good defense by uh, Lorgi. Rainitz had his shot blocked. Pardon me, McGoldrick had his shot blocked. Tristan is number 51. Michael Rainitz, number 31. Tommy Rainitz in the ball game. Brothers, right? I believe so. Lorgi wide open, dribbles in a little bit. May backing off. Seymour with a deep three, couldn't get it. Bus with a nice rebound for the Hornets. Eight minutes left in the ball game, North up by 27. Been all Raiders since about the uh, 10 or 11 minute mark of the first half when they started to make their comeback. Preble got off to a very nice start, leading it uh, 15 to 5 at one point. And the Red Arbach crew is leaving. <laughs> they all got their cigars lit up as they walk out. Congratulations, Rick. Got his award from uh, the Sheboygan A's for uh, all the time and effort he and his brother put in two years ago. <laughs> he finally got it. <laughs> Couple of missed free throws. Michael Rainitz looking. Yeah, I got to give Lorgi a lot of credit, Chris. They're just backing off of him. He could shoot a three, but he hasn't uh, hasn't done it. You know, he's, it's not his game, so he's uh, playing to his game, and that's smart. Rainitz to Damcott. Tommy Rainitz. Oh, hung on the rim and bounced out. And off of uh, Jackson Damcott, Preble will get it. 7-11 left, North uh, continuing to press. Yeah, they could uh, back off. Camden Wall. And now they're gonna get Damcott. I actually thought he played pretty good defense. Wall was just at the free throw line, Chris. He uh, had a one for two trip. He's gonna make this first one though if he wants to get the second. Big game on Tuesday, Marty. Best two teams in state played. Kimberly and Oshkosh North. There's a you going up for that one? No, last Tuesday. Oh, uh, was, okay. It was uh, Oshkosh North led by about six at half, and Kimberly came out at halftime and grabbed the lead, but uh, big closing finish by Oshkosh North. They won, I believe, by like 10. So they still stay undefeated in Division One. Off the glass. Call that, Tommy. You can't just put that in without seeing something. Here's the replay. cha <laughs> Kiss it off the glass, nothing better than that. 
Wall leading uh, the Hornets with 14 points. Couldn't get that one in, however. Witter, good bounce pass inside to Michael <laughs> Rainitz. Ah, missed a couple of bunny shots. May providing pressure on the first shot. You gotta get Sonatag in there for the Lorgi. The Goldrick providing the good defense on Wall. Why is Ryan Buss in the game? May puts it up and in. Lorgi puts his head down. <laughs> <laughs> he got stopped. Even Marcus May is smiling on that, but he did throw it up and it went in for him. 72-44. <laughs> Watch the replay. Doink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a good arch on the shot, though. <laughs> Lorgi broke open down deep, but uh, Witter didn't want to throw him the ball. Tommy Rainitz looking for the glass. No, who needs the glass? We'll just throw it in. Have a night. Eight points for Rainitz. Sana takes at the bench, Marty. Wall, no good. Lorgi with the board. Bus coming out to guard Rainitz. Imagine that. Michael Rance. Uh, uh, pardon me, that was uh, Tristan McGoldrick. Yeah, we have 10 guys that have scored, Marty. Sonatag's not one of them. Neither is uh, Bus feeling it. Wow. Why is he in the game, Marty? No wonder he's fourth in the league in scoring. Get Sonatag in the game. Full time Full out. Full time out with 437 left. North up by a bunch. Well, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Chris is, Chris is happy now because uh, Son and Tag is back in. Hopefully he'll get a shot at some points. Yep. That's a senior night. A uh, couple of quick things before we start the game. Our crew again tonight is Scott Mailoff is directing. Eric Wiesman, assistant director. Sergi Molitor running graphics. We've got Richard Bartson and Greg Zablocki on camera. Chris Wright doing the color, and I'm Mike Martin doing play-by-play. -play. In earlier action, North lost the freshman game by six, uh, won the JV game by three on a three-pointer with two seconds left, and uh, North is going to win this. The varsity is going to win this one, and that'll push our record, Chris, to uh, eight and four on the season. Uh, not good enough. By the way, Chris will not be doing... There's Son and Tang. Ugh. Backboard got in the way. Uh, no interviews tonight after tonight's game because it is senior night. And uh, they'll be having uh, ceremonies with the seniors. So we'll forgo that and uh, wrap it up quickly after the final buzzer. I've decided that the uh, Sheboygan North should start to press again. Because you don't want to see... Well, Bus and Wall are in there. <laughs> Come on. Why are they in the game and watermelon? Get them out of the game, coach. Chris had mentioned earlier, and I'd mentioned it even earlier than that, that uh, Griffin Summers had a 30-point game over at South. He had not played tonight. He broke his foot on their trip down South. And uh, that's unfortunate for that young man. Rain it's in double figures. Three threes, Marty. Wow, we. You know what North ought to do? Pull back on the three ball. 
<laughs> Only shoot twos. Bus, no good. Seymour had it tipped away. Wall, tra oh, not a travel, I meant to say charge. Charges into the north defender. And he's hobbled. Yep, maybe now he'll take him out. He's uh, hurt, Chris, actually. He's limping around on the sideline. Hopefully he'll be okay. That was his 10th turnover, by the way. But uh, Chris brought up uh, uh, an important point. You know, when the game is pretty much decided, you don't want to have your uh, starting star players exposed to a possible injury. And get them out of the game. Uh-oh. Sante Bonus. going to the line. He's got to make the first one to get the second. Chris has finally showed some spunk. Hasn't had it the entire second half, but all of a sudden this fall on Sonnenteg has woke you up, man. <laughs> Get in there. Dalkey with the nice rebound, though. Well, I said 10 Raiders have scored, and the only senior that hasn't scored. Me? Push it. Yeah, he, actually, you know, he looked like he had a good touch, good release, just didn't go Look in. Look at that. That was a nice move for that fellow who first yeah, got in Lucas the game. Newman. Newman! 78-50. Seymour! Deep three. Chris not happy with that. He wants to see Sontag with the ball. Seymour's got 11, by the way, along with Raynitz. Inside feed to Dalkey. Sonnenteg with the good defense. Newman. Pop back jumper is no good. Michael Rainitz trying to get it in the lane. McGoldrick off the glass, no good. Sonnenteg tipped it back. That could be a rebound, Chris, tipping it to a teammate like that. Seriously, I'm not kidding you. You think I'm joking? I'm not. No, I want the points, Marty. He's not even going to touch the ball. He keeps running away from the ball when he could get oh, it. Seymour, you know, is going to shoot. And make. 83 to 50, 33 point lead. 81-59 the other night. Dalkey, no good. Deep pass to Rainitz. He's open! <laughs> good hands by uh, Rainitz. Tommy Rainitz got it, and couldn't get it in. I think Eric Worth ought to call a timeout and say it's time to get Sun and Tag the ball. Mr. Wright up in the booth would like that. I think we'll see a timeout at the last minute and 17 seconds. Uh, I don't think the Green Bay Preble people will enjoy that. Parrot on the line. Oh, 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 the injustice. Checking in for uh, Preble making uh, his first appearance is uh, number 45. He doesn't have a name. Oh, he's at waiting at the table. That was an important free throw for a Parrot because it allowed the uh, substitute to come in. And I'm looking through my list. This is not in order. Could be Max Bubbles, who's number 41. He is in the game, though. No, it's not him. Number 45, we're not sure of his name. Well, Goldrick, round and wouldn't go down. He'll be shooting a pair, though. Tristan with a nice drive. He has a chance to be the 11th Raider to score. 
It doesn't matter who. Slow down. Bend your knees. Get take up a, to the free throw take line. Take a deep breath. He's looking how far away from the... It's an interesting free throw style, Marty. Just yeah. interesting enough <laughs> <laughs> to get the point. That's what we like to see. Get right in the ball game and shoot that ball. Dalkey, baby. Nothing but money on that shot for Ryan Dalkey. Nicholas Dalkey, pardon me. Uh-oh, here comes... Oh, no. There are 11 guys that have scored. Shoot it, Mike. He's going to... He's got oh, a nice pass inside to Lorgi who puts it in. Good play by Michael Rainitz. 86 points for North, 20 seconds left in the game. Newman. Bubbles. Oh. Yeah, Dalkey took that one power dribble and everybody has got out of the way. <laughs> and he got it tipped away, however. Let's see. Joshua Nicholas in the game, number 23. Dalkey's shot is blocked by Lorgi, and that'll be it. North is going to win this one, 86 to 53. Chris, a couple of closing comments. Well, the 14 turnovers, 22 turnovers for for Preble altogether. That's just not good basketball, and. Uh, Led to their demise and an outstanding defense using that press to start that second half of the first half. Very exciting for North and a great win on senior night. Preble drops to 3-13 uh, and 13 on the year, 1-11 uh, and 11 in conference. North improves to 9-6 and 6-6 six and six and six in conference. Uh, Preble will play on Tuesday night at, uh, against South. North tomorrow travels to uh, Oak Creek for a game down there. Our next game will be February 11th when South travels up here to North to play the uh, second North-South game. We look forward to bringing that to you. Uh, for the crew and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and uh, we'll see you down the road.